Campbell Scientific troubleshooting video on the vacuum sampler. We're showing a CVS 4200 vacuum sampler here at this moment, but to, to be able to get into the pump and the power supply to be able to check those and see if you're having any issues there when a sample will not be taken, there are two screws here, one here, one on top, and three more on the other side that need to be loosened and removed. The ones on the bottom here, all you need to do is just loosen those sufficiently. Remove the remainder screws remaining completely and we can take this canopy off and we can have access to the power supply in the pump and to be able to check and see what we need to there if there is a problem that requires going into here. With that, we can just uh, carefully remove that. And now we have complete access to the electronics, the power supply, and the pump. And to just have a, another look at the power supply, what we would want to check here is we want to check the voltage and see if we're getting 120 volts into the power supply. And then what's going out should be uh, about 14 volts. There there is a little adjustment here where you can adjust the voltage going out of the power supply, but we want 14 points from the power supply into the controller. So with that, what we would do is we would just loosen the screw back here. There's a couple of screws here. We would remove those and then connect into those terminals with a multimeter and we would be able to see the voltage. And uh, the pump you can see is right here. If the pump, if we have a leak back here on any of these joints, on these fittings, on the solenoid valves, we'd want to just make sure and, and correct those issues. But if it's, if we see black carbon dust, it's an old pump and has had a lot of use, you'll see black carbon dust filings out here. And it just, you have to take these two screws out inside there. There is an electrical uh, brushes and the wires, the connecting wires that go to it that you could replace and rebuild it. it. Takes only about 10 minutes to do that. If it's not producing a vacuum at all, then we would look at uh, the vacuum replacement kit and you just take these screws out and you can see the diaphragm inside there. And we have both of those kits for sale and you can uh, service your sampler right there on site very quickly and you're back in business. Thank you again. If you have any other questions, please contact Campbell Scientific and speak with the uh, a sign or a application engineer, one of our support techs, and they'll be able to walk you through what uh, else you might need to do to be able to check it.